I would like to explain you on this figure. This is a, a block production schematic. 6B block is under production, which is we are talking about. To start for the construction, you need to make cuttings and nesting files. We have tables about nesting files and all pieces uh, printed on the sheets and they had been cut in the CNC machines. As you see, this is the block 6P, the engineering of drawing of 6P. From this drawing, all kind of workshop drawings and nesting files uh, taken from the details. This is the starting point of all kind of engineerings. In this drawing, you can reach all the details, the sh thicknesses of shells, the uh, frame numbers, the shell plate numbers, and all details are taken out from this engineering drawing and uh, printed as a workshop drawing and uh, produced nesting files. Now we will go back to the production site and uh, we will see these drawings is becoming a real block production. So we will see all the details from printouts to the steel sheet plates. Now here we're talking about block number 6P. Let's see how this is coming together. For example, here we have a section which is block CL001 as you have seen in the picture. This is alive on the field now. They are trying to bring the pieces together. This is that part. So this part is going to be the piece of of that part on top. When it's going to be turned upside down after the shell plates welded, this is going to be more close to the end of production. Let's see also 
some other piece which is that one frame this is the frame 46 46 frame has a bulkhead this bulkhead is also have a gate access and that frame is on the on the block already let's see here it is <clears throat> this is that bulkhead with the access actually these are the parts to keep the shell to avoid from bendings so these parts is going to be removed after finishing the welding process because during the welding because of the heat occurs the shell plates tries to stretch on two other sides so you need to keep the plates in straight position so these frames this material is helping uh, the construction to keep the lines in tight before you bring these parts together you don't uh, finish continue the welding because uh, you have to bring the parts together then after you need to weld to keep the uh, structure in a shape <clears throat> one of the most important engineering part of this process is how you cut the pieces so each piece this has to be cut it in a good shape like all these kind of details has to be uh, designed previously to gain more time and more quality these sections like this one is easy to have a circulation and uh, it's very important for making proper welding for example for in all frames there are these kind of spaces that is going to be give space for welding and for circulation for air humidity or liquid access like water and also on the places where you have continuous weldings you need to give this kind of holes <clears throat> 